guys, welcome to the Weekly Intuitive Art Studio. Today I have something a little bit different for us. We've been working um, mostly in just how to express ourselves with therapeutic art, but today I want to do an activity um, of how, if we're feeling some strong feelings, how we can use art to move through that and ask ourselves better questions. So I'm going to go ahead and set my 30 minute timer so I don't go on forever and ever. And we'll get started. Um, I specifically want to look at anger and frustration. Um, a lot of times we feel those feelings and there's not really an appropriate outlet for it, right? Like we're not allowed to just go around destroying things and hurting people. That's not appropriate. So we um, really need therapeutic, therapeutic ways to move through it. Um, and art is such a great place. This is such a safe space to let those feelings come out and sort of... Um, ponder about what's going on for us. Um, often when we're angry, it's really a reflection of some other feeling. It's just the easiest one to express quickly. So when I'm feeling anger, if I can take a moment and think what's really going on, it's usually something more like I'm hurt or I feel ashamed or something like that. So anyway, let's get started. I'm not going to tape off today. I'm going to just get wild and crazy and I'm going to um, channel my frustration and see how it comes out on the page and then what I can kind of deduce from this. Um, so I'm feeling like I want to start with this ink tense pencil. And usually when I'm feeling these kind of big feelings, um, my work is a lot faster and scribblier. It may be different for you. Um, you know, everyone processes things differently. So I'm noticing this is how it feels good to start. Oh yeah, getting my hands dirty too, that just feels so good. Maybe like smear this around. Also when I'm feeling big feelings, if I can really get my hands dirty, um, get this tactile feeling going, the mess, you know, the messiness, the, um, the scratchiness, the all these things that just kind of can help reset my nervous system. I think it's a way, it's kind of like when you exercise, um, just a way of physically moving your body and feeling different things to make, um, make yourself process what's going on. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep going. So I'm using a pencil now, just going to make some mark making is what's happening. So again, with intuitive art, it's about just like letting what needs to happen, happen. We are not trying to control this. We are not judging ourselves. We are not expecting a certain result. It's all about the process of just moving through what we got going on today. And for me, we are gonna work through frustration. So as we're working through this, you might want to ask yourself some questions like, okay, why am I feeling frustrated? What's going on? Is it really about um, someone else or is it about myself? Is there something I can do to make myself feel a little lighter and a little more free? Um, do I need food? <laughs> do I need some sleep? Would that help things out? Um, am I hurt? Do, do I just have my feelings are feeling really big and anger and frustration is what's coming out first? Um, I mean, there's just so many ways that these feelings kind of hijack us. I noticed already I'm like, I've picked black and brown. So it's curious, like what do these dark colors... Um, what are those about? Like what? Why am I drawn to that in this moment? And maybe that's because my mood's feeling a little down or maybe it's because um, this just feels like a reflection of my internal landscape. You know, there's no right or wrong answer. This is not a quiz. This is not um, 
anything other than just being curious about ourselves and what is going on. Feeling like a scraper might be a good tool to use now. So I'm getting my scraper out and I'm just gonna Again, it's this tactile feeling of being scratchy and scrapey that just really um, fits the mood for me. For some people, when they're feeling frustrated or angry, it may be more of the soothing like watercolors or something that can uh, Kind of change your state, kind of change your flow to feel a little bit more relaxed. Um, but sometimes you know you need to just get these scratchy things out and then you can move into things that are a little bit more flowy and it's okay. It's all okay. There's no rules. Your sketchbook is the safest place to let all this stuff unfold. Feel like I need to, I want to add some water. I haven't added maybe get this blended a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Also, I think when you're trying to move through a feeling, it's really great to use inexpensive supplies so that you don't feel stingy with them. <laughs> you know, like you want to be able to freely express yourself, not be worried about how much money you're spending on supplies. So work with a journal or paper that you just feel like you can be yourself and you don't have to make something precious. I would say that would be my number one rule for creating is making sure it's not too precious because then you don't want to mess it up. Just get wild. Kind of loving this like darkness, this um Yeah. I'm not even sure. Let me see if I can scoot this up some more so you can see. Oh yeah, that's better going to stay. I don't know. Okay, now what feels like the next thing? We're having a ladybug invasion in our house. Look, he's like, excuse me, this is my habitat. Um, it happens here every winter. Like, we'll start off with a couple, and then all of a sudden you're finding them in weird places. Okay, little ladybug, you go do your thing. <clears throat> Back to this working through frustration or anger. So after a little while, you might start feeling a little lighter because if you're like me, art does that. You know, you, you start kind of letting go into the process of creating. And then maybe some other things start, start emerging, maybe. Like I'm already feeling like, oh, I probably, I think I want to bring some lighter colors in. So that's great. This messy tactile feeling is just what I needed. I almost feel like we should all keep just a little tiny notebook in our bags or purses or cars. Just like, you know, sometimes you just need to scribble something out. Just like get those feelings moving. Really just kind of get in there. Like, what's going on with me? Let me just scribble it out and see if I can figure it out. 
it's okay. It's also just nice to make something like messy, right? Like this doesn't have to be anything other than what it is. It's fine. It's going to be messy. And that's going to be great. And it doesn't have to mean anything or I can make it mean everything. It's all fine. So all of a sudden this work is turning into a different sort of feeling. So um, the darkness is turning lighter. I'm gonna get my paper towel. Oh, I love this. When my hands are messy, it feels so good. It's such a good feeling. All right, so I have, can I be honest? I have Posco pins. Um, but I also have this ginormous Sharpie paint pen. I have several things for making white. I have a white um, china marker, a jelly roll pen, but I think this, super cheapo here it is this super cheapo artist loft acrylic paint marker is one of the better mark making tools I have for white um, my Posco pen always seems to be transparent and I don't know what I'm doing wrong because other people have really great success with them so what I'm doing over here is just priming it making sure the paint paints coming out and I'm starting to feel like this is turning into something different than what I started. You know, I started um, kind of focusing on frustration and anger, but now that I've been creating for a little while, that's sort of moving through and I'm considering other things now. So I think um, in true Andy form, I'm going to um, maybe do a couple of botanicals. I think my problem is I never let things dry completely, you know, but that's who I am. And so this is the technique I get. It's okay to just be ourselves, even if it doesn't follow the technical rules. That's okay. It's almost more fun, right? Because it makes it unique. really on a botanical kick these days for the longest time I was just doing like landscapey looking stuff I love that about intuitive artists it's always changing and it's okay right like we're not trying to be specific we're not trying to um, be consistent we're not doing any of that we're just trying to express ourselves and to move through this human experience in a way that's therapeutic um, and maybe a little bit liberating. So there's no wrong way to do that. So, so freeing when you can say, it doesn't matter what this looks like, I'm just doing what I want to do, and that's going to help me be a better person, move through this experience I'm having, and it's all going to be great. Because you don't have to be perfect to be an artist. You just have to make art. That's it. That's the only requirement. And I feel like our 
technical art, if you're someone who likes to make technical art, I think that that really benefits from these experiences of intuitive art because you're we're playing, we're trying things out. It doesn't, you know, it's like kind of a great way to learn things that you like and don't like and maybe you pick up your own unique way of doing things. That's just a wonderful process. All right, let's see if we can let this dry real quick. This is my in person um, this is my version of fanning I kind of want to use this jumbo look at this thing it's huge it's a sharpie paint paint pen isn't that kind of cool wonder if I could just oh that's kind of fun okay now I've primed it too much so it's getting splashy but you know what you only live once you might as well get your pen splashy oh that's really fun oh now I just feel like I want to cover the whole thing with this that's what I'm doing going for it because when your intuition speaks one must listen that way your intuition knows it can trust you it can trust that you will listen to it when it tells you something. Oh wow, yes, I'm loving this. Oh, this is fun. I think that's one of the most precious gifts we can give ourselves is learning to trust our inner knowing and I know that making art seems like, you know, such a low risk thing, but what good practice to honor ourselves and honor our inner voice and, um, you know, try to honor who we are and what, what we want, you know, maybe in your day to day life, you're not able to give yourself that because you're caring for other people or, um, you have way too many responsibilities, but when you get to your sketchbook, you can do that here. This is a safe place just to be who you are and trust that it's going to be okay. That you can trust yourself. Um, this is amazing. Now I have to blot it. Because I can't wait to see what kind of texture is going to happen. I'm going to blot again with this same paper towel and I'm going to see if it'll um, transfer some of the paint to some other spots. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is so fun. never um, created something like with all these splotches on it that's so interesting to me all right what's gonna be next I'm feeling like this gold woody pencil wants to be used so let's just go for it maybe it wants to just fill in some spaces is what it seems isn't that the fun thing about intuitive art you pick up something and you just kind of start doing something you're like oh I guess this is what's happening let's just go with it I mean, I've made some of the craziest things ever doing this sort of thing. And I just think that that's amazing, right? It's like, look how free I can get when I'm not trying to make anybody else happy or do something for the finished product. I can get really wild and free. And in my personality, in my normal day to day, I'm an introvert and I like to kind of blend in. I don't want to stand out. I don't like attention. Um, 
so this is kind of that space for me to get those feelings out that I don't really get out in other ways. I would assume if people are authentically themselves and they're performing or um, in other ways in front of people that it might feel this way. It might feel like freedom just to be who you are. But what a gift to give yourself. Oh, I love this, this um, goldness, goldness. Remember how dark this was started out and now it's becoming like a, oh my gosh, it almost reminds me of like a holiday wrapping paper or something. <laughs> it's becoming festive. And this all stemmed out of trying to deal with frustration and anger. So what a great example for life, you know, like, okay, I'm in this frustration. I'm feeling angry right now. What can I grow out of this? You know, I don't have to grow more frustration and anger. What can I grow from this? Can I grow some freedom? Can I grow some joy? The answer is probably so, you know? It's okay to be mad and it's okay to be angry and it's definitely okay to be frustrated. Lord knows I am. But it's also okay to let that go. It's okay to say, you know, I've carried this for a while. I'm ready to put this down and pick up something other, some other feeling. Okay, there's that. Now I'm thinking, I need some pink. I gotta get some pink up in here. I have this little pink pen. I don't think I've ever even used it. No, I sure haven't. It's a little pink. Let's see. Let me prime it. I feel like I'm chattier today than usual. <laughs> it was just so much fun. All right, so I have this pink, and I'm thinking, I really don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Looks like stripes are happening. It's not really showing up that well, so I'm going going rogue. Some ooh, ooh. Okay, I really like that. Just some dots. Just like priming it on the paper. Oh, that's fine. This thing is wild looking. Love it. I mean, I would never have thought that this would be coming out today. It's always a surprise. Do, do, do. Where are my crayons? Here they are. These are uh, watercolor crayons. <laughs> Sorry, the ring light makes it crazy. These are really inexpensive. They're on my um, Dick Blick wish list. Um, I need to put that link on here so that you guys can just see the things that I'm using a lot. have the um, free digital starter kit it just kind of gives you recommendations for materials if you don't um, know what you want to be using on my website I think the link will be in the it's I always put the link to that in my videos but I also should put the link to just my um, dick Blick wish list because maybe that's all you want to see Oh, this is crazy. When's the last time I made something this wild? Probably not that long ago, actually. <laughs> actually, it was yesterday. I'm kidding. I 
I noticed that, um, like I have this same sort of feeling in my body. Um, kind of, I kind of want this textury feeling. I think that's matching my mood, but it's become a lot more playful. Just so curious to kind of tune in and see what's going on. All right, let me blot up some of this pink now that it's had a minute to dry. Oh wow, that is so festive. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Okay. Oh, my timer's telling me I don't have much time left. I live out in the country, and if I make videos that are much longer than 30 minutes, I have a hard time uploading them. So, you know, country girl problems. All right, now let's see what we can do. Thinking about using this black to make some patterns over it. And then maybe this big one. Oh, this has got real weird. Oh, it's getting weird. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we're here. We're here to get weird in a safe space. Low consequence. You do you. Oh, that's really fun. Okay, now I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want to use this like bright pink. Hope this is fun for you. Gotta find joy anywhere we can. orange color. These are the Distress Crayons. They're just really buttery smooth. Look at this crazy thing that came out of frustration. Isn't that interesting? I'm feeling finished but I think that I want to rotate it I think that um, I like that well this is wild and this was fun thanks for coming along with me today and I'll see you next week bye